These two are full-timers. Meet Callie and Joni, two feral cats that live in and around this Wontaw backyard. So to me, everyone eats. Nobody starves. That's so my attitude. A warning today, though, from Nassau's Department of Health after a feral cat in Cedarhurst was found to have rabies. The commissioner saying the detection of rabies in our county after several years of no reported cases is a stark reminder of the ongoing risk. It's a very high level of concern. Rabies can spread quickly. Gary Rogers from the Nassau SPCA says everyone should be careful and not just those who feed feral cats. So they live together, but they wander neighborhoods. So sometimes they're called community cats. They go from house to house to be fed. To protect yourself from possible exposure to rabies, don't feed or touch wild animals, stray cats or dogs. Make sure pets are up to date on rabies vaccinations. Keep family pets indoors at night and don't touch dying or dead animals. I'm more scared for the animal than, than the word rabies, honestly. John DeBacker works with Long Island Cat and Kitten Solutions, a rescue organization. If this scares people from taking care of feral cats, I mean the cats are going to starve. They're going to have no one to take care of them. The rabies diagnosis won't change a thing for Wontaw's Jody Scheintel. She's been taking care of a family of feral cats at her home for years. They have nowhere to go and nobody's taking care of them. Nobody wants to take responsibility for them. So I just decided that they were going to be part of my household. In Wontaw, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.